But on this Gemara, in the Sugi of Afin Hoi Baisanes, there's two famous Tais for sin. We'll focus on one. Tais is Dibra Maschil, Noshim Chayavos, the Mikra Megillah. Tais for says that the Bahag says that even though Rabbi Shuab and Levi said that Noshim Achayv and Mikra Megillah, just like men Achayv and Mikra Megillah, Afal Pikain, a woman cannot be Moitzi, a man, with Mikra Megillah. So a woman can't be Moitzi, a man, with Mikra Megillah. Now, the Emma says, the Bahag is a very, very big Chiddush. The Kama Kumus in Nishtabru, there were many pens that were broken over the years, writing Torahs and trying to explain this Shita Zah Bahag. Why is it such a Chiddush? Because, Bishloima, if Mikra Megillah was a Mitzvah Dei Raisa, so then you would say, men are chayiv and mikra megillah midday raisa. A woman's chayiv midra bono. Sha'afein hoye ba'isa anes. And to be clear, afein hoye ba'isa anes is poshed a svarad rabbon. So men are chayiv midday raisa. So women are chayiv midra bono. Someone that's chayiv in a mitzvah midra bono can't be moitzi someone else that's chayiv in that same mitzvah midday raisa. Meaning, when could one person be moitzi another person with a mitzvah? That's if the two people are on the same level, meaning they're both chayi midday raisa, or they're both chayi midday rabbanan. But if you have one person that's chayi in a mitzvah midday raisa, and the other person is chayi in the mitzvah midday rabbanan, so it's poshit that the person that is only chayi midday rabbanan can't be mighty, the person that's midday raisa. But over here, it's all the rabbanan. The obligation to read the Megillah for a man is a the rabbanan. And the obligation for a woman, So, what's Pashib Shine in the Bahag? The Bahag says that even though women are Chayv and Mikra Megillah, but a woman can't be Moitzi a man. L'chura, men are also only Chayv and Midra So, why can a woman that's Chayv and Midra be Moitzi a man that's also Chayv and Midra So, there are many different Mahalchim that was said by the G'dayli Achroinim to say Pshan in the Sheet HaZah One Mahalach is the Shagas Aryeh. The Shagas Aryeh is in Ture Yevin. It's right here on this Toysvis. And really he repeats this Yisoyed a few times in Ture Yevin on Masech Tas Megillah. He says a Dover Nifla. Very, very big Chiddush. The Gemara says later on Dav Zayin Amid Aleph, Esther Beruach HaKodesh Nemra. Esther was written Beruach HaKodesh. Rabbi Yezah said it. Rabbi Akiva said it. Rameyer said it. The Gemara brings a whole bunch of different Tanam that said that Esther Beruach HaKodesh Nemra. Says the Turi Evan, what does it mean it was written Beruach HaKodesh? Right, so we have our own way of thinking in terms of what Ruach HaKodesh is. But from a pure technical standpoint, Ruach HaKodesh is a level of Nevoah. That means when Chazal say Esther Beruach HaKodesh Nemra, Mordechai and Esther, they were Nevi'im. And because they were tapped in, they had Nevoah, when they wrote Esther, they weren't just writing something that they thought they wanted to write, but rather it was Nevoah. It was things that were being communicated to them from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So says the Shagas Aryeh, that's true, that's poshit, that the obligation to read the Megillah is not a Deiraisa. It doesn't say anywhere in the Torah that on your Dalit Adar, if you live in a large city, you're supposed to read the Megillah. And on Tesfav Adar, if you live in a walled city, you're supposed to read the Megillah. That's Poshet. But at the same time, Esther Baruch HaKadosh Nemra. And because Chazal said Esther Baruch HaKadosh Nemra, that means that it also wasn't the creation of the Chachamim. But rather, the Chachamim were being communicated to from Shemayim, and they were being told that that's what you should do. So says the Shagasari, I can't tell you that that Esther and the obligation to do all the mitzvahs that are mentioned in Esther are chiyuv and dairaisa. But one thing I know, said the Shai Gesariya, that HaKadosh Baruch who wanted those things to happen, and now that he wanted it to happen, he communicated it to the Nevi'im. So says the Shai Gesariya, at the end of the day, why do we read the Megillah? That's why there's a chiv to read the That's why there's a chiv to read the Megillah. Esther was written in Baruch HaKadosh. That means HaKadosh Baruch Hu communicated to Mordechai and Esther through the medium of Nevoah, tell the Yidin to go ahead and read the Megillah. See, so he says, Avad, it's not a chiv they write, it doesn't say it in the Torah. It's not a Bereish, it's not Shemois, but at the same time, Kivan the Kale Echad Omron. It's the same Bashefer. Mi pi odoin kol ha-maisen Baruch Hu. And it was from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Must be that if it's not a day raisa, here's his lotion, it's a ke'en day raisa. Half of a so the Shagas says, a new concept. It's not a day raisa, of course not. It's not one of the Tariq mitzvahs. It's not, however, a regular drabonon either. Because it's the Baruch HaKadosh Namra. So being that it's more than a drabonon, it's less than a day raisa, 
We have to give it a name. It's Ke'en Deiraisa. So it comes out, it's this quasi Deiraisa. As long as the Shagas are. Now, when the Chachamim said, Afhein Hoyu Ba'isanes, therefore women should be included in this obligation as well, the Chachamim was saying that Noshim are going to be Chayev mid the Rabbana. That's a regular key of the Rabbana. So he says, it comes out that men are Chayev Ke'en Deiraisa. Women are Chayev. It's a regular key of the Rabbana. It's a regular Divrei Seifrim. Just like someone that's Chayev in the Rabbana can't be Moitzi, someone in a mitzvah that's Chayev in Deiraisa, so too someone that's Chayev. Midrabanon can't be mighty someone else that's chayiv in the mitzvah ke'en da'iraisa. So men are chayiv in the mitzvah ke'en da'iraisa, whereas women are only chayiv in the mitzvah midrabanon. And just like le'asi midrabanon umapik da'iraisa, le'asi midrabanon umapik men that are chayiv ke'en da'iraisa. Very big chiddush from the Shagas area. That mikra megillah, of course, is not a chayiv da'iraisa, but being that Esther brocha kodesh never and the obligation to read the megillah state megillah Esther, so it comes out if it's not a da'iraisa, it's at least a ke'en da'iraisa, and therefore women that are only chayiv midrabanon and shafi noy is not anywhere in the megillah. That's a regular chayiv midrabanon. Men are chayiv ke'en da'iraisa, just like a midrabanon can't be mitzvah da'iraisa, so too midrabanon won't be able to be mitzvah someone that's chayiv ke'en da'iraisa. Toich Dvar, this is a long piece in the Turi Evan, but one of the things that Turi Evan declares is a fascinating Shailah. He declares, what would be if you have a man, he doesn't know how to read the Megillah. He doesn't know how to read the Megillah. Stating that, his wife is a Milu Medes, she does know how to read the Megillah. Is there an Indian for this man to have his wife be Moitzi him with Mikra Megillah? Now, the Bahag said that even though women are Chayv and Mikra Megillah, Shafi and Hoi Boisan Nes, but they can't be Moitzi a man. What about in this case? What would be in this situation where the man will not read the Megillah unless his wife is going to be moitzi him? Yes or no? So Pashi would say, no, that's the whole Bahag. The Bahag says that a woman can't be moitzi a man. So what's the difference? If you could read, you can't read. At the end of the day, of course a woman shouldn't be able to. I'll tell you what my suffix is. My suffix is that why can't a woman be moitzi a man? Because we just said, a man, according to the Bahag, is chayiv ke'in da'iraisa. Whereas a woman is only chayiv in the Rabbon. Says the Shagasar, yeish lachkar. When the Chachamim said, Noshem chayov is b'mikra megillah, sh'af hein hoyu ba'oysa anes. Was af hein hoyu ba'oysa anes only said regarding women? Or maybe men are also chayiv in mikra megillah, sh'af hein hoyu ba'oysa anes. Meaning, if there's a svar that af hein hoyu ba'oysa anes obligates you of a Mikra Megillah. So just like the women were Afhein Hoyu Ba'isa Nes, the men were also Afhein Hoyu Ba'isa Nes. Norvas. Ordinarily, it's not Negei the fact that the man is Chayiv because of Afhein Hoyu Ba'isa Nes. Because he's anyways Chayiv. He's Chayiv because of Kein Dairaisa. He's Chayiv because of the Iker Chayiv. But now this man doesn't have a way to be Yotzer Iker Chayiv. He can't read the Megillah. And the woman can't be Moitzi him with his Iker Chayiv. So the question is, if he also has a Chayiv Afei Noi Baisanes, and that says the Shagasari, this is Gavaldi, she has just like he does, so that she should be able to be Moitzi him. So Lachura, maybe there's an Indian for her to be Moitzi him. So Zok the Shagasari, do we say that Afei Noi Baisanes was only instituted for Freya? It was never given to the manner. And as a Result, even though this man can't fulfill his ikr chiv, which is ke'in da'iraisa, but at the same time, there's no winning of afin noy b'isanes. For Allah, hanish can't chiv and afin noy b'isanes. So if you have someone to be moitzi you like a man, good. If not, fafalim. What are you going to do? But maybe you could say that really the man also has afin noy b'isanes. Ordinarily, it's not a gay because he has a regular chiv. If he has a regular chiv, where's in a gay afin noy b'isanes? Or b'zok to shag yisari, I could hear it sad that maybe where he doesn't have an ability to be fulfill his regular chiv. So maybe over here it would be a gay to say. Now the first thing that comes to mind is maybe it's totally in the machleik is Rashi Toisvus and the Rajbam what Afein Hoi Baisanes is if Afein Hoi Baisanes is Dafka Noshim because Esther was the Ikka miracle and by Ner Chanukah was Yehudis and Itzias Mitzrayim was Bishar Noshim Tzidkoniyos so then you would say Afein Hoi Baisanes by definition is only Negei the women but that's the Rajbam Shita Rashi Toisvus don't agree with that Rashi Toisvus says that anyone that was included in the miracle is included in Afein Hoi Baisanes this is the Shagas Arius Chakir either way this is the Shagas Arius Pshat in the Shita Zabahag the Bahag says even though Rabbi Shuvah Levi said Noshim Chayov is Mimikri Megillah Shafein Hoi Baisanes but that's only as it relates to they'll be chayiv now with the rabbanon. Men are chayiv and mikra megillah more than the what do you mean more than the rabbanon? First of all, what does it mean more than the rabbanon? All it is is the rabbanon. As the baruch hakodesh nemra and like the shagasari says, kulon me adoin echad me pi adoin kol amaisim baruchu. It's all from the same eibushta. And if it's baruch hakodesh, it means on some level has to be a dairaisa and the hag held that this is enough to make a spout on a dairaisa. 
the halachic level, and there, for that reason, a woman won't be able to be moitzi man. The truth is, Shagasai repeats this Yisoyed a few times here in the beginning of Besachtas Megillah and Turiyevin, and Bezus Hashem hopefully will be able to revisit some of the other places that he says it, but just moving along a little bit. So we're coming out with a very big Chiddush. We're coming out with a Chiddush that even though Mikra Megillah is a din derabanon, but at the same time, it's ke'en doiraisa. The truth is, there's a similar Chiddush that I found in the G'day Liachroinim, and this is from Rab Shloyma HaKoyim Yivilna, the Binyan Shloyma, and it's in Chelek Aleph, it's in Simen Nun Ches. He says a beautiful Chiddush. The Gemara, later in Masechtas Megillah, Daphya Dalud Amir Aleph says, why is it that we don't say halal on Purim? In fact, the Gemara asks it as a kasha. Pesach we say halal. Why? Because it was a great miracle. What was the miracle of Pesach? Avodim ayunu l'par b'mitzrayim v'yoytzieinu Hashem. So says the Gemara, L'chairetz ha'kal v'chaim, U'mami avdos l'chairos, We say shira, Mi misa l'chaim l'kolshke, Madach we say shira from avdos l'chairos, Yitzis Mitzrayim, Certainly Purim, Where it was l'hashmed l'harig u'l'abed, there was a gzera of a final solution against the Jewish people, And we were speared from it, we were saved, So certainly we should, Saying Shiro, and the Gemara gives a few to roots in. One terrorist, the Gemara says, Rav Nachman, Amar, Rav Nachman said, Kriyosa zu halayla. You're right, it's a great kasha. Really, we should say halal on Purim. So, why don't we say halal on Purim? You don't have to say halal on Purim. Because on Purim, you read the Megillah. And because you read the Megillah, so it comes out, Kriyosa zu halayla. So, the Binyan Shleiman made a beautiful kashman. He said, There's a shita saramban. The Ramban shit in Sefer Mitzvah is that halal on Yontif is a day raisa. The chiv to say halal. Alanes, the chiv to say halal on Yontif is a chiv de raisa. So says the Binyan Shloima. The chiv to say halal me avdos lecheres is a de raisa. The Gemara said that if you say halal me avdos lecheres me misal lechaim lekolshkin, what does that mean? Ma me avdos lecheres me misal lechaim lekolshkin. It's what we know in the vernacular as a kalvachaim. A kalvachaim is also de raisa. Kalvachaim is one of the yudgam omidus shatayr in the drashas behem. So talk to me in shloima. It's very simple math. The chiv to say halal may abdus lecheres is de raisa. I have a kalvachaim. Ma may abdus lecheres misal chaim like kolshkin versus oichet a de raisa. So it comes out there should be a chiv de raisa to say halal on Purim. Now we don't say halal on Purim. Why not? So Rab Nachman, because we read the Megillah. Interesting. We read the Megillah, and by reading the Megillah, we're fulfilling not only the obligation to read the Megillah, but also to fulfill, we're fulfilling an obligation to recite Hal. But here's the Chiddush, said the Ben Yitzhleimah. The Chi of Megillah is a Chi of the Rabbanon. Oh, but the Chi of Halal is a Chi of the Raisa. So it comes out when we read the Megillah, not only are we fulfilling a mitzvah the Rabbanon, a mikra Megillah, a Blaman de Yom HaKriyosa Zu HaLeila, we're also fulfilling a mitzvah the Raisa of Halal. So it's not that Mikra Megillah is a Deiraisa. Mikra Megillah is a Deirabona. The Chiv to read the Megillah by Hibi Meach Hashverish is a Chiv Deirabona. But at the same time, when you're Mekayim this Mitzvah Deirabona, you're actually fulfilling a Mitzvah Deiraisa. Which Mitzvah Deiraisa? The Mitzvah of Halal, according to the Shittas, Uberoisham, the Ramban, who hold that the Chiv of Halal is a Chiv Deiraisa. So Lufiza, I think it's Pashit, that would be an Eitzah to explain the Shittas Abahag. It could be, the Bahag would be maskim, al stachi of Mikra Megillah, maybe a woman could be moitzi, again, it's a big Kiddush, that a woman could be moitzi a man, but it could be the reason a woman can't be moitzi the man is because when a man reads the Megillah, he's not only fulfilling a Dirabon and a Mikra Megillah, he's also fulfilling a Dairais of Halal. A woman, Afein Hoi Baisanes, she has a Chi of Mikra Megillah, but no one ever said because Afein Hoi Baisanes, a woman has a Chi of to recite Halal. Not that I'm aware of. She doesn't have a chiv to say halal. So if she doesn't have a chiv to say halal, and even if she did have a chiv to say halal, it would be a chiv de Rabbanon. So it would come out that klape mikra megillah, you're right. The woman is the zelba de Rabbanon, as I be the man. So why shouldn't she be able to be moitzi? So you know what the problem is? A man, when he reads the megillah, he's and checking off two boxes. He's being Oysa Mitzvah, Chavilas, Chavilas. Number one, he's being Mekayim of Mitzvah, Mikra Megillah, which is the Dirabonah. And number two, he's being Mekayim of Mitzvah, Deiraisa, of Halal. The woman, she has the Mitzvah, the Rabbanah, so she can be Moitzi from Mikra Megillah. But how could she be Moitzi with Halal? If she can't be Moitzi with Halal, maybe that would be an issue. Of course, it's a big Chiddush, because it would come out that really he's Yoitzah Mikra Megillah, he's just not Yoitzah Halal, which is Avad the Chiddush. But either way, the point is not the Bahag. The point is this Chiddush of the Binyan Shleimah. So we're saying that the Shagasariah held that Mikra Megillah, even though, of course, at its core, is a mitzvah the Rabbanon, but at the same time, the Shagasari said it's Ke'en Dei Raisa. So when you read the Megillah, you're fulfilling a mitzvah that's Ke'en Dei Raisa. Then we have the Chiddush of the Binyan Shloima. The Binyan Shloima says that when you read the Megillah, you're actually fulfilling a mitzvah Dei Raisa. What's the mitzvah Dei Raisa? Granted, the mitzvah Dei Raisa is not, it's not 
the mitzvah of Mikra Megillah, but there is a mitzvah de Raisa of Hal. But there's one more layer to all this. And that is in the Torah from the Heilig Echsam Seifer. And the Echsam Seifer is in a few places. It's in Shaila Suchuvis, Yeridea, Simon, Reish, Lamed, Gimel. It's also in the Chidush Echsam Seifer, Mesech de Shabbos, Tav Chav Beis Amar Aleph. This is my Yeridik. The Gemara says, Amar Ab, Gemara says, Ner Chanaka, Amar Ab Kahan, Doresh Rav Nosem Bar Menyumi, Mishmeder Rav Tanchum. Ner Chanaka, Shehi Nicha Lemaila Michaf Amar Psul. A Ner Chanaka, that's more than 20 amas off the ground, this parcel. Kesuka, just like a sukkah she gave the mile of Yasser Mamas, the first mission of Masachas, sukkah's psula. And just like a mavoy she gave the mile of Yasser Mamas, Yemayat, it's the first mission of Masachas Erevin. The same is true for Nerchanaka. Nerchanaka she nicha the mile of Mechaf Amma, psula, kesukah, kumav. Toysfis, the very top of Dafchav Bezam and Alpha Masachta Shabbos asks a bomba kasha. The Gemara Masachta sukkah that base, it's also Erevin that base, but sukkah that base is a little more familiar than Erevin that base. The Gemara asks a kasha. Sukkah she gave the mile of Yasser Mamma. Psula. Mavi should give the mile of Master Mamma, you might. Fate the Gemara, Maishna Hacha Diktani Psula, Umaishna Hassam Diktani, you might. Why is it that by Sukkah it says Sukkah should give the mile of Master Mamma's Psula, and by Mavi it says you might? Says the Gemara, Sukkah Dai Raisa, Tani Psula. Mavi the Rabbana and Tavi Tani Takanta. Here's the rule. If something's a Dai Raisa, you say Psula. If something's a Dai Rabbana, you say Takanta. We once said Pshat from the Rogachava that the Rogachava said that by Isuri the Rabbana, there's no Isser Chefza. So it doesn't pass to say Psula. Psula means Isser Chefza. There's no Isser Chefza by the Rabbana, it's only by Dai Raisa. But regardless, Zokhti Gemara, here's the rule. When you're dealing with a Dai Raisa, this is, it, you say Psula. When you're dealing with a Dai Rabbana, Tani Takanta, Freik Toysfis, Ner Chanaka, Shinichal Amayla Mechaf Amma, Psula. Ner Chanaka is a Dai Rabbana. So if Ner Chanak is a Dirabana, based on the rule that the Gemara says in Erevin Beis Amar Aleph and Sukkah Beis Amar Aleph, that the only time you use the word Psula is by Dairaisa, but by Dirabana you say at Takanta, so why is it Ner Chanak as Yenich L'mayla Mechavam Psula? L'chayr, what it should have said was Yemayin. So Taisu says a Teretz. So Tich Sam Soif, right here in Chdush Yich Sam Soif Alashas, in Mesach Tish Shabbos. The Vyesh Loimar, maybe you could say a very, very big Chiddush, based on something that the Bahag says. And the Bahag is brought down in the Rambam Sefer HaMitzvahs. It's right in the beginning. It's in the Shayra Shayrishayim. The Bahag says a very big Chiddush. The Rambam, when he introduces the Sefer Mitzvahs, so he has his Shrashim, right? These are the rules, the roots of the laws of what qualifies as one of the Tariq Mitzvahs. Says the Rambam, Hashayrish No Durabonans count. This is the first rule. The first rule of Tariq Mitzvahs is we only gonna count the rices, we're not gonna count the Rabbanans. Says the Ram of Da, you should know. I mean, this is pretty obvious. What would have even been the Havamina? So the Rambam says, the Rambam talking. He says, well, why am I even telling you this? This is the first, it's like the first Shirish Arishan. This is the first thing you have to know. We don't count the Rabbanans. I mean, isn't that obvious? I'm telling you why I'm saying this. Because there are people that I saw made this mistake. In fact, I saw some that counted Ner Chanukah Umikra Megillah Bechlal Mitzvah Saseh. I saw those that counted Ner Chanukah and Mikra Megillah Bechal Mitzvah And then he says he found that they counted others as well. And it's for that reason that I feel I need to come out. I have to be moich against that because no, no, no. Those are the Rabbanans. Ner Chanukah Megillah is the Rabbanans. And because they're the Rabbanans, it's for that reason that they don't count. Who are these people that the Rambam was referring to? It's the Bahag. It's Talach is Gedoyles. In his minyan of mitzvahs, the Bahag counts Ner Chanukah and Mikra Megillah as mitzvahs they rise. And the Rambam says, he doesn't understand this. Hashem Yoreinai. How could you say such a thing? It's a Durabonon. If it's a Durabonon, 613 mitzvahs, Nemr Lamoshe Misinai. So how could it be that a mitzvah Durabonon, Ner Chanukah was on Har Sinai? How could that be a mitzvah they rise? It was on Har Sinai. Everything was on our scenery, but it can't be a mitzvah. As I freaked the Ramam, so what's the Pshad in the Bahag? He said, the Pshad in the Bahag is like this. Of course, the Bahag understood that the mitzvah of Nerchanak and the mitzvah of Mikra Megillah is a mitzvah Durabon. How can you say it's a mitzvah Dei Raisa? Of course, a mitzvah Durabon. Of stating that the Chiv to do something on Purim, and for that matter, the Chiv to do something on Chanukah is not a Chiv Dei Rabbanon, that's a Chiv Dei Raisa. And he says, you know I know that? He said, because the Gemara and Dafyu Dalar Amin Aleph and Megillah says that, why don't we say Halal on Purim? And the Gemara says, Mechtes, you should say Halal. No, it's a Kavah Chaymer. Umami Abdus Lecheris, Mimisa Lechaim Lekoshkein. You know what you see in this Gemara? You see in this Gemara that the Gemara held that you should say Halal on Purim. 
How well? Based on a Kabbalah Chaim. But you see more than that. You see the Gemara held that whatever Yidin did to celebrate Pesach, they should in essence be doing me'ain that on Purim. Why? Because madach me'adus l'cheres, we make a yontif, and we do pursue nisa, and we do things to be mafaris in the nest, l'chayra me'mis l'chayim l'koshki, you should certainly be doing the same thing. The Gemara is discussing halal. O b'zlach t'chsam soif, it's not dafka halal. The kavachayim is the kavachaymer. The kavachaymer is that if you're mafaris in a nest of abdus l'cheres, kavachayim, you have to be mafaris in a nest, that's me'mis l'chayim. So z'lach t'chsam soif, you know what I think? That Kavah Chaim is a real Kavah Chaim. What was the Gemara's terror? Yeah, Krios as well. Leila, meaning it's real. It's a real Kavah Chaim. And Kavah Chaim is a Dindai Rais, so like Shleim HaKoyim Yivilna said. It's posh it's a real Kavah Chaim. And the Gemara's Taka saying that a Yid, when Klai Yisrael saved from something, when there's a, a miracle that takes place, with the Yid, they have a Kush on Nitzel Mimena, they have a Chiyuv Dei Rais to do something about it. But this is where it alters and veers from a regular day raisa. By the yont of a Pesach, the Torah told us what we need to do to be mafaris from the nest. You have to eat matzahs. Matzahs you have to be in carbon Pesach. Pesach says shanu oichel and You have to eat marer. Why do you eat marer? And then you have all the different things. But the point is, there it's mandated mid day raisa vos medavton. Ner Hanukkah or Mikra Megillah doesn't say anywhere what you're supposed to do. So that was the Chachamim's right to be able to figure out and tell you what you should do. But the Chiv to do something on Purim, says the Chsam Soifer, is a Chiv Dei Raisa. Because if Me'avdos L'cheiros, we're Mefarsim Dines, also known as Pesach, the Yontif, so Mimis L'chaim L'koshke, and the Chiv to Prava Purim, said the Chsam Soifer, is a Chiv Dei Raisa. Now, how to? That's already up to Chazal. And Chazal went ahead and they said, Purim, this is the way you're going to celebrate. Mikra Megillah, Mishloyach Monis Ishlu Reyeyu, Umatonis Lav Yoyinu. And then Chanukah, when Klai Yisrael was at tremendous risk and there was this unbelievable miracle and Chazal said, we should go ahead and we should make a Yontif, they said, then the way you're going to celebrate the Yontif is going to be with Ner Chanukah. So it comes out that we're fulfilling an obligation, Midday Raisa, to be Mepharsim, a miracle. The way we're doing it is the Rabbanan. This is the Lashen. Nimso ikra dai raisa u perusha de rabon. The ikra is a dai raisa and the perush is a de rabon. Some cipher says it right here in Shabbos Chavbeza Madalav, and he says it very gishmak at the end of Chuva Reish Lama Gimel. That's his one of his most famous chuvas to Rabbi Amram Chasida, where he talks about Kedushas Eretz Yisrael, and he gets involved in a whole bunch of different things there. So that's a famous chuva. This is the very, very end of the chuva. And he says it's posh that he's right that that Gemara Megillah Yudal Madalav is saying there's a chiv de raisa to be mefaris in the nest. There's a chiv de raisa any single time mimisa lechaim lekolshke to do something. How exactly you do is going to be a derabon. So Zokter Sam Soifer the Gemara said. It's only the Rabbanon. And they rise a Ktani Psula. The Rabbanon is Tani Takante. The Terz Shu. The Chiv Ner Chanaka is a Chiv the Rabbanon. Over when I yin sick Chanaka, Zokta Sam Soif is Mikhaim a mitzvah they rise. And if you're going to go ahead and you're going to send Chanaka left in the wrong way and you're not going to do anything else for Chanaka, you know what's going to happen? You may be a vatal of they rise because you have an obligation to go ahead and make a Zecher. That's something you're obligated to do. And if you don't do it, now, let's say you do it some other way. Maybe with Hali, I don't know. But the point is, the Chiv is a Chiv Dei Raisa. How we fulfill it is a Dei Rabbanon. And because it touches on a Dei Raisa, therefore the Gemara used the Lashon that you only find by Dei Raisa. But the Chsam Soifer was space saying all this. Why? He was coming to answer a Bahag. The Bahag says, and the, the Rambam brings it right in the beginning of the Shroshim. The Bahag says that Ner Chanuk and Mikra Megillah are Bechlau Mitzvah Saseh. And the Rambam says, I am so taken aback by what the Bahag said that I have to start my Shaira Sharish and I'm going to introduce Sefer and telling you something that's so obvious, right? A whole shtickle Torah. It's so obvious what I'm telling you, but I have no choice because I saw the Bahag. Why did the Bahag say Ner Chanuk and Mikra Megillah is a Dei Raisa? Yesh The Bahag. Who holds? That Mikra Megillah is a day raisa. And what does it mean it's a day raisa? So the Chamsoyfer said, it can't be, it's a regular day raisa. But let's say what it means is you're fulfilling a mitzvah day raisa. On some level, there's a mitzvah day raisa, but there's a tzad day raisa in Mikra Megillah. Noshim achayv in Mikra Megillah. Sha'af hein hoi ba'isa anes. Af hein hoi ba'isa anes. Can't give them access to the day raisa. All it is is a chiv de Rabbanon. Men have shaykhs to Mikra Megillah. 
Midairaisa. Women have shaykhs to make Ramagilla Shafi and Hoya Baisa Ness. It's only Midra Banon. It should come out, Lachayr, Lafi, this Bahag. Now maybe it shouldn't be so posh for a woman to be able to be mighty a man with Mikra Megillah. Maybe that's Pshad in our Bahag. Taisus brings a Bahag in Megillah Daftal and Mahal, a famous Shita Zabahag. That even though Nash Machayv and Mikra Megillah, but a woman can't be mighty a man. What do you mean? Afi and Baisa Ness. Men are also only Chayv Dura Banon. Tarot says it's the Bahag Lashita Sai. Whatever the Pshad in the Bahag is, the Bahag and the Shari Sharishan, where the Bahag said that Mikra Megillah is really a Dairaisa. Mikra Megillah is a Dairaisa. Again, does it mean it's Mamish a Dairaisa? It's hard to believe. But on some level, Mikra Megillah is a Dairaisa. If Mikra Megillah is Bechlal, the Tariag Mitzvah, and the Chsam Saifas Hezber, it's because even if there's no Chi of Mikra Megillah, a Dairaisa. But when you read the Megillah, you're fulfilling a Mitzvah Dairaisa. Maybe a woman can't be mighty a man with his obligation to go ahead and fulfill a Mitzvah Dairaisa. If, if she had a Shaykhus to the Dairaisa like he did, then I'm a Chanami. But she doesn't have a Shaykhus like he does. Now she has Afin Hoi Baisanes, but Afin Hoi Baisanes is only the Rabbanon. Afin Hoi Baisanes is not a Dairaisa, so maybe it's the Bahag Lashita. So either way, it's a little bit of a pilpul in the Shita Sabahag. But one thing to take away at the onset of Masechtas Megillah, Megillah Davdalin, the very beginning of the Masechta, is that even though Mikra Megillah is only a Dindu Rabbanon, that's Pashit. But at the same time, we have three Mar Makaimis in the Gedoyle, Gedoyle, Gedoyle Achroinim, that it could be Mikra Megillah is more than just a regular the Rabbanon. Number one, the Turi Evan, the Shagis Aryeh, where the Shagis Aryeh said that even though Mikra Megillah is a Rabbanon, but being that Esteparuch HaKadosh Nemro, so at the end of the day, it's not that different than a Dairaisa. So if you don't want to call it Dairaisa, Avada, but it's Ke'in Dairaisa. So it's more than a regular Durabanon. The second is Rav Shleim HaKoyim Vilna in Binyan Shleim HaChel HaKal of Semen Nun Ches. Rav Shleim HaKoyim Vilna says that even if the Chi of Mikra Megillah meets the obligation to read the Megillah, the Pursume Nisa is a Durabana. But if you hold that Halal on Yantiv's Dairais is a Kalvachim, Halal on, Mik- on Purim is also going to be Dairaisa. So at the very least, when somebody reads the Megillah, you're fulfilling a mitzvah day rice, and not a mitzvah day rice of Mikra Megillah, but a mitzvah day rice of Halal. And then we have the Chsam Soifer, where the Chsam Soifer says that based on that Kalvah Chaim in the Gemara Mesachtas Megillah, a yid has a chiv to do something. We have to celebrate the miracle of Purim, mid day rice. The Rabbanon said, do it through Mikra Megillah. So when a yid reads the Megillah, says the Chsam Soifer, you're actually being Mekayim a mitzvah day rice. The chiv Megillah is a chiv the Rabbanon, but the Kiyum of Mikra Megillah is a day rice. Three different approaches in the G'dayli Achreinim that would seem to suggest that even though Mikra Megillah is a Dirabanon, but there is some Shaykhis between the Yantav of Purim and the Mitzvah to read the Megillah on Purim to a Mitzvah Dei Raisa.